EHOP hosted their annual Know Your Vote Forum to help residents prepare for the upcoming town meeting. A number of town officials were in attendance to take questions from attendees and through residents online. Uh, Mr. Kalmalo, can you explain in lay terms what an underwrite is? Based on the Massachusetts state law, towns can tax at no more than 2.5% above the previous year. And in the context of Hopkinton, an underwrite, therefore, is a mechanism that allows the town to lower the tax levy. Here's an email that came in regarding um, HCAM, actually. So it says, HCAM currently gets funding directly, quarterly, from the cable companies. Article 12 sets up an enterprise fund for that money, and the town would vote at next year's town meeting to distribute the money that comes in this year to HCAM. What does HCAM use for funding for the next year? Or am I misunderstanding how the enterprise fund would work? Other towns have two articles, one to create the enterprise fund and the second to fund it for the coming year. The, the question correctly points out that uh, in this cycle, we are not requesting an appropriation for HCAM. My understanding is that HCAM may have the funds necessary for its operation in the coming year. So hearing that we only have room for 34 more students maybe, does that, would that constitute an emergency if we got 134 more students and we needed 20 more teachers even than expected? When we look at student enrollment, this budget based on the 103 students evenly distributes those 103 students across the grade levels. So it puts about eight students in each grade. Last year, one of the problems that we faced was that we expected 204 kindergarten enrollments and we had 264 kindergarten enrollments. We had about almost 30 additional sixth graders. So when you start to have students, you know, 30 of them in one grade, now you've got to create more teams and hire more full-time faculty. So yes, that could be a problem for us. It really depends on where students land. And when we say 103, if we had nine students at each grade level, you know, certainly you know, we would be able to absorb that, right? But I think that um, that sort of disproportionate kind of enrollment it would be our greatest concern. Uh, last year we were able, so people are probably wondering how did you hire 10 teachers on, on that budget? And one of the things that was sort of advantageous to us, we had, you know, um, you know, power rebates because we had just opened the marathon school. We had a couple of students who had special education outplacements who came back into district. And so we had, you know, additional monies that came to us, I guess, in really fortuitous but unbudgeted ways. We can't count on that again in FY20. One of the articles asked about was Article 52 easements, Main Street Corridor Project reauthorization. It could be in this case where we're doing undergrounding for every property along the line. They're going to have to go onto the property to bring that electrical service off the pole. There won't be any wires anymore. It's all going to go under. You're going to have to bring it in from the property underground to connect to the undergrounding. So that's going to require temporary access to the property to do that work. There is also blending, whether it's where a driveway cut comes in or a sidewalk or there's lawn area that eventually you want to blend the new in with the old. And so there needs to be temporary access on the property to get this whole project to work together. But they are not giving up their property. They're being asked to grant easement, which is access. Um, this is a very common thing in municipal projects. Payment for that easement is one method, but very often it's donated. Um, if the town has to pay, and that is what the article will be asking to provide some funding for, um, the more property owners that are not willing to simply grant this access but demand a fee, this is all going to be borne 
by the taxpayers. Those easements are not part of the cost of the federal funds. You can view the full forum on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV.